Hello, <laughs> recordings in progress, folks. <laughs> New things happening on Zoom all the time. I have a lady telling me, so I guess that makes me know I'm recording the session. That's good news. <laughs> all right, so today we're going to focus on some leg stretching. And I thought we would do it in the beginning of class and toward the end, do the same thing so that we can just see how our body changes. And maybe even if it's not a physical change we perceive, maybe there's something mental that we perceive. So Ganesha is the elephant headed God in the Hindu pantheon. And there's all these fabulous stories about Ganesha. But one of the things that I really have been feeling into is he's known as the remover of obstacles. Yeah, so Ganesha is the one that you kind of call if you have any new project that you're doing or starting. Um, he's known to remove obstacles, but some say he's also the placer of obstacles. So if we get too complacent, he likes to place an obstacle in our path so that we have something to work with. I like the idea that Ganesha energy is not necessarily the remover or the placer of obstacles, but perhaps our perception of the said obstacle changes. So this has showed up many ways in my life. I've seen it come, the property that I owned before this one, the day I bought it, the basement flooded. And I freaked out. I couldn't believe it. I thought this is the worst thing that could ever happen. But what it did was give me a big pause because I was working two jobs at the time, massage therapy and yoga teaching. And I really just wanted to transfer into yoga teaching, but I didn't know how I could possibly do it. That gave me the pause to understand what is rightful action. How can I move down this path in the way that really best supports me. And so even though it felt like this in giant obstacle in my way, it ended up being a deep blessing. That moment of pause. Some could say that COVID has been the ultimate obstacle, right? And yet we have found some gifts from it, some gifts, of course, a lot of heartache, and I don't wanna diminish that and grief and loss. But some gifts, like the earth having that great pause and a chance to rejuvenate a little more, some of us feeling how we can work differently or the better use of our time has come up. So what seems like this incredible obstacle that we just want removed sometimes doesn't go anywhere, but our perception about the obstacle changes. So as we stretch our legs today, our legs are the element of earth in the body and root chakra muladhara and our connection to our basic survival needs and our sense of belonging. I read once that if our hamstrings are tight, we're always prepared to run away. And I think that is very um, potent because if we're always prepared to run away, that fight or flight part of our nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system is heightened. And so one of the best things we can do for our sweet legs isn't necessarily to go in the full splits, this big giant stretch, but just to gently stretch them and really focus on our breath. When we slow the breathing down, in particular the exhale, it helps to elicit that parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest part of our nervous system to come online. So we'll start today on our backs with our knees bent and our feet flat and just a few moments of natural, easy breath. And you might notice, are you breathing in your belly? Are you breathing in your chest? Is your breath more in your throat? Where do you feel it? If it helps, you can always place one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest to just feel the rise and fall.
And then we'll start to deepen our awareness of where we can bring our breath. So let's start at the very low belly, almost the pelvis. See if you can breathe into the low abdomen. And you might notice on the exhale, if you lightly draw your belly in, what's happening for your low back? And then we'll see if we can direct our breath to more of the solar plexus, mid belly, above the belly button. And then on the exhale, drawing the belly in and again, noticing the low back. And you might feel your ribs expand in the side or even the back as we start to move our awareness up the abdomen. And then we'll allow our awareness to move into the chest and feel the chest rise slightly. If it helps, you can touch your chest. And then on the exhale, as you draw the belly in, what happens to the chest? Can you feel a little lift and elevation? Or what do you feel? What do you feel? And then my dears, we'll take our left leg up to the sky and just interlace the fingers behind your knee and give your knee quite a bend here. So we're drawing our thigh in toward our belly and chest and ribs. We'll inhale here. Exhale, straighten that leg and push through the heel. And bend the knee, inhale, draw it in toward your belly. Exhale, straighten, and remember it doesn't have to be all the way straight. Just straighten a little. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten a little. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten a little, and we'll hold, and then we'll just point our toes. Inhale, and then bring the toes towards your face. Exhale. Point the toes, inhale, flex the heel up, exhale, twice more. Now maybe staying with the knee or maybe sneaking your hand up toward the ankle or even the big toe, bend that left knee and start to draw the knee toward your outer ribs and perhaps straighten the right leg and reach your right arm up overhead. Half happy baby. And just notice what you feel. Do you feel your hips? Do you feel your groin? Do you feel something completely different? There's no prescription where all bodies fit into it. Notice what you feel and where your breath moves. And then we'll take this left foot in our right hand and hold on to our left knee with our right hand. So it's like pigeon on our back. You might flex that left foot at the heel at the ankle. And then feel free to kind of imagine yourself a cello and this left leg is the bow and we'll just guide the leg across. And it can even be in almost like a little circle. Feel free to move in a way that feels useful to you. If it's a circle, you might go the other direction after a few times. Now we're keeping this right leg straight and we're gonna guide this left leg across the body. So it's a twist and maybe there's a pillow underneath that left knee or maybe you just tuck your left foot behind the right knee.
breathe into the low back here. So if we can breathe into the belly, that low belly, what if we just thought about that breath going to that same location, but more in the back? And then we'll slowly come back to center. Both knees bent, both feet flat to the earth. Take a moment just to pause and notice what does the left leg feel like? What does the right side feel like? Do you feel any subtle or significant difference? And then we'll interlace the fingers behind the right knee and draw that thigh right in toward the belly and ribs. Inhale. Exhale, straighten that right leg. Remember, it doesn't have to be all the way straight. Inhale, bend, draw the knee in toward you. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more time, bend. And straighten, and then stay with the leg straight-ish. And on the inhale, point your toes. Exhale, flex the foot, push through the heel. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Twice more at your own pace. And then start to really bend that right knee. You might stay with your hand behind the knee or grab the ankle or even the big toe and start to come to half happy baby where that left leg straightens, left arm reaches up overhead and we breathe. Notice what you feel on this side, is it different? It's definitely different for me. So just notice what's true for you. Where does your breath wanna move here? And then, <clears throat> we'll come to a pigeon on our back. You might pause there. You're holding the right foot with the left hand, the knee with the right hand. Or you might start to do the cello and bow move where you're guiding the leg across or even creating like these little circles. And if you do some circles one direction, we'll go the other direction as well. And then keeping this right knee bent, we're gonna twist. So bringing the right leg over to the left. I like to place my toes behind the left knee, but you could bring the knee to a bolster or a block or the floor. And imagine you can breathe into the low back here. Great, and then we'll come back to center, both knees bend, both feet flat for a moment here, just notice. And then we're gonna come over onto our hands and knees. We'll go through a flow, we'll move a little bit quicker today, but you know you can always move at a pace that works better for you if you're not feeling quick. We'll inhale into cow and exhale into cat. Do that a couple times. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog. You might pedal or sway a little bit here. Right leg lifts. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step the foot forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. 
Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Breathe in. Step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Rise all the way up, inhale. Palms gather at the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Step your right toes way back. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Plank. Right side, side plank. And deep breath in. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Left leg lift. Draw the knee in toward your belly, chest or nose. Step the foot forward. Dip the hips, lift the heart, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Look forward, breathe in. Step forward and fold. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, plank. Left side, side plank, deep breath in. Plank, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walker hop to the top. Halfway lift. Pull forward. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms reach up, inhale. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Left toes step way back. Breathe in. Straighten the leg. Stay for an inhale. Bend the knee. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up. Mountain pose. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Rise up. 
mountain. Arms up, inhale, pull forward. Long spine, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Walk or hop. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale, hold forward. Long spine, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog. Walk or hop. Halfway lift, hold forward, rise up, mountain pose, arms up, hold forward, long spine, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, down dog, Right leg lift. Draw the knee in toward your face. Step the foot forward. Lift the left leg up. Flex your toes. Try to have your whole toes facing down. Heel straight up. Halfway lift, inhale. Draw the left knee in toward your belly, chest, or nose. Lengthen out, gather it in. Lengthen out, gather it in. Lengthen way out, reach your right arm forward. Inhale here, elbow toward me. Lengthen, elbow toward me. Lengthen, elbow toward knee. Lengthen out, step that foot way back. Plank, left side, side plank. Deep breath in, plank, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, down dog. Left leg high. Step the foot forward, right leg lifts. Flex the toes down toward the earth. Halfway lift, lengthen out. Right knee in toward your belly, chest, or nose. Lengthen out. Gather in. Lengthen out. Gather in. Now lengthen way out. Left arm forward. Breathe in. Elbow toward knee. Lengthen, elbow toward knee. Lengthen, elbow toward knee. Set the foot down, low lunge, inhale here. Plank, right side, side plank. Plank. Chaturanga, cobra or up dog, 
Down dog. Look forward. Walk or hop forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up. Mountain pose. Arms up, inhale. Pull forward. Long spine. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Right leg high. Foot steps forward. Left leg high. Bow toward your right shin. Lengthen halfway. And begin to spin open half moon Arda Chandrasana. You might stay here or bend that left knee. Reach back with your left hand, right hand, or both hands. And grab the foot. We'll release the foot if you have it. Square your hips. Revolved half moon. Right arm lifts. Or revolve sugar cane, bending that left knee, reaching back with your right hand. Release and land your feet like pyramid feet. Bring your weight back. Flex the front foot, toes toward the nose. Plank to the left side, side plank. Breathe in. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, left foot steps forward, right leg lifts. Lengthen out and then bow your shin and head toward each other. Begin to lengthen out, we're gonna open the half moon, open up. Maybe sugar cane. Hands down, maybe the block square the hips. Left arm up, revolved half moon. Or revolve sugar cane by bending the right knee, reaching back with the left hand. We're gonna bring the legs down like pyramid. Flex the front foot, toes toward the nose. Plank two, side plank on the right. Plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, 
down dog. Walk or hop forward. Halfway lift. And bow again. Rise up. Mountain pose. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga or down dog a different way. Right leg lifts. Right foot steps forward. Warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Reach me on your toes. Triangle pose. Bend that right knee, side angle. Half or full bind. You might reach your right hand underneath your thigh or maybe you can take a full bind, yeah? Step your left foot up. We're down through the left foot, come up with the right foot. Bird of Paradise. Or you might stay with a bent knee or straighten that right leg. Place that right foot down. Just one moment of a bound half moon. Warrior two. Straighten your arms and legs, star. Bring your feet to face forward, fold forward. Wide legged forward fold. Bend your knees a tiny bit. Lift your sitting bones up. Bring your chest back through your legs. Halfway lift. Set your heels and toes out, goddess. Star inhale. Where your two toward the back of your mat. Straighten that left leg. Triangle pose. Bend that left knee, side angle. Half bind or full bind. If you have the half bind, reach your left palm under your left thigh. Step your right foot forward. Root right, rise left, bird of paradise. Left knee can remain bent or straighten the leg.
Place the left foot down. Bound calf when you reach the right leg up. Warrior two. Inhale, star. Turn your toes to face forward, forward fold. Maybe you stay here or maybe you stand on your head. If you happen to bring your feet to the sky, slowly bring them back to Mother Earth. Halfway lift. Heels in, toes out, goddess. Star, inhale. Warrior two toward the front. Plank, side plank on the left. Plank, chaturanga. Full brow up dog. Back to down dog. Left leg lifts, foot steps forward, warrior two. Let's straighten the left leg and reach for our thumbs and hook our thumbs. Stick your right hip out. Start to lean into triangle with your arms like this. It might be a very small pose. back up. Keep your hands this way, but hop your right foot out to the right, square your hips forward, and come down maybe halfway. Come back up. Place your left hand to your sacrum, your right hand alongside your ear. Twist to the left. And start to come down about halfway. And then place your right hand to a block inside or outside your foot or to your shin. Draw your left hip back, revolve triangle, left arm up. Release the pose and fold forward over that left leg and flex the left foot up toward the sky or head toward the shin. Plank. Right side, side plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior two. Straighten the right leg, hook the thumbs the weird way, other thumb in front. Your triceps hug your cheeks, stick your left hip out, come to a little bitty triangle.
Come back up, keep your hands that way. Step your left foot out to the left and square your hips forward. Lift through the heart. Come about halfway down. Weight in your back heel. Inhale, come up. Place your right hand to your sacrum, left arm alongside the ear. Breathe in. Come forward, draw your right hip back, about halfway down. And then revolve triangle all the way down. Right arm up. And then frame the front foot. Weight in the heels, flex the toes up toward the sky. And then this time we're gonna look forward, step forward and fold. You might grab opposite elbows. You might interlace the fingers behind your back. Let your arms rinse out overhead. Or you might grab your big toes. It's halfway lift, my dears. Chaturanga if you want it. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Right leg goes high. Right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Bend that right knee. Spin your back heel down. Take a moment to walk your blocks or your fingertips off to the left. And start to bring weight into the right heel and hip and you might sway a little bit to the left. And then the right. As your weight goes to the right knee, feel it in that hip, then that right knee. You might stay here. You might bring your forearms to blocks or the floor. From here, you might come onto your palms if you're not there. Straighten that right leg and then bend the knee. Straighten and then bend the knee. Couple more times. And then pivot to where you're bringing that back knee to the earth. Send your hips back, keep your left toes tucked under. See if you can come on to forearms or blocks. Start to flex that right foot and come to the pinky toe edge side of the right foot as the right knee goes to the right. Place that right foot back to the earth. The back toes are tucked, lift the back knee. You're on palms or maybe forearms. Push through that left heel. Right 
And then you might let that right knee open to the right. And when you're ready, downward facing bow. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Back heel goes down. Walk fingertips or hands on blocks to the right. And start to lean right and then left. As you lean left, weight goes in the booty, the heels, the left knee bends back and forth several times. And then staying at a place that you can hold and breathe and maybe come to forearms. the palms if you're on your forearms pivot that back knee to the earth flex that left foot let the left knee open to the left keep your booty back you might come on the forearms or blocks And then the foot is solid, left foot. Lift the right knee up, push through the heel, and maybe you are on forearms or palms. And as you push through that back heel, you might let the left knee open to the left, lizard pose. When you're ready, downward facing dog. We're gonna meet on our backs. Left leg goes up to the sky. Interlace your fingers around that thigh, that hamstring right behind the knee. Draw your knee in toward your chest. And then straighten that left leg and push through the heel. Twice more, bend the knee, draw it in, inhale. And straighten the leg. Bend the knee. Straighten the leg. Now see if you can maybe keep this leg straight and straighten your right leg. And you continue to flex through the heel. If not, you feel free to point your toes and then flex your foot. Let's try to have a hamstring stretch that's coming straight toward us. Bend that left knee, half happy baby. You might reach your right leg long, your right arm up overhead.
And then this time as you come to pigeon on your back, you might interlace the fingers around your leg. See what works. And then my dears, we're gonna straighten that left leg up to the sky. Hold on to the leg somewhere, let it go out to the left. And come back to center, take the left leg all the way across the body to the right. So let the left leg stay straight if that's okay. Otherwise bend your knee like we were at the beginning of class. And then come back to center. For a moment, just lie here, knees bent, feet flat and breathe and see what you notice. Then that right leg goes up to the sky, reach behind your hamstring, bend your knee, draw the knee in towards you and then straighten the leg, flex through the heel. So you can feel free to do that a couple more times or just stay in the hamstring stretch. Notice any difference from side to side. Once you straighten that leg to stay, you might point and flex the foot or just Hold the toes toward your nose. And then half happy baby. Left arm might go up overhead, left leg might be long. And then we'll come back to center for pigeon on our back. So feel free to grab hold of your right leg in any way or interlace your fingers around it in any way that feels useful. And then we'll straighten that leg up to the sky, hold it somewhere and take it out to the right.
and all the way across the body to the left. So it might be where you keep your legs straight, like revolve triangle, or maybe you bend that knee and even tuck the toe behind the left knee like we did at the beginning of class, whatever feels right to you. And then we'll come back to center, bend both knees, feet flat. Just notice, where is your breath moving? What is your body feeling? How is your emotional body? How is your mental body? And then end your practice in whatever posture that'll make you feel ready for Shavasana. So for me, I'm gonna place a block underneath my sacrum legs up to the sky, but you might choose something different. Could you relax your jaw, your shoulders? So wherever you are, we might take 10 more breaths and then make our way to Shavasana Corpse Pose. When we're ready, we're finding a posture for our final rest, and it can look any way that feels comforting, comforting to you. Bye. 
when you're ready, making your way back to a seat. Palms at our heart, and again, in any shape that feels comforting right now. Gratitude for the practice. Gratitude for these bodies that hold so much. Gratitude for making the time to come in and be with our breath and all our thoughts and emotions. And just to allow our body time to process. And in that way, we create just a little bit more peace in our own nervous systems, and we can be truer advocates of peace in the world. In that spirit of peace, we say, Shanti, Shalom, Salam, Aman, Malukia, Irini, Shiakan, Jam, Ache, Pa. In the spirit of our collective healing and liberation, we say, Ashe, Amin, Amen, blessed be. Kapu Aloha, in the catch, Satnam, Namaste, Natakuyasin, Black Lives Matter. Goodness.